Hey guys, it's MJ, the Student Tech Tree, and we're gonna be looking at a website called Easy Equities. Now what it is, it's this little platform that lets you invest in various securities on the JSC. Now, I've just started it, and they're not gonna let me play with real money because I have to do Fika and all these weird security things. But they have given me 100,000 Rand of demo money. So I've got some demo money, and we can use it to have some fun. Now, I need your help because what shares should I buy? I mean, there are, there's so many, there are lots, there are lots. Let's actually, let's go show 96 at a time. I wish I could get rid of this stupid thing here because that is blocking our, our view. Um, but what we can do is, oh, this website. Welcome to Easy Equity, blah, blah, blah. No, we can select an investment type. So equities, ETFs, ETNs, baskets, and bundles. Are the are the other ones my tags? What what are, what bundles do they have? What bundle is this? Risk invest. Okay, rule number one of investing is you don't buy something if you don't know what it is. I mean Everest aggressive bundle, Kilimanjaro conservative bundle. I mean let, well let's just see what it is. I actually don't know what this thing is. Erm, what? Are oh, you want to risk it for the biscuit? Um. Isn't that in that fired up movie the guy says that? Select okay, no, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with those things. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's let's like I said, first rule of investing is only invest in something that you understand. Okay. So these are I think these are the stocks. So we can choose the sector. Look how cool that is. Let's see are there, are there any tech tech sector? Is life insurance, investment products? Um Mining, mobile telecommunication, non-equity investment instruments. What is that? Oh, capital appreciation. Okay, so this these things are known as special purpose acquisition companies. And they're kind of like a reverse IPO where they first raise money and then they go and buy stuff and then they put it onto the stock market. Um, it's quite cool. The company, remember we were looking at that website, Colorfield, the other day. They're owned by a company called African Rainbow. And African Rainbow also owns these guys over here. So, should we buy? Should we just, let's just buy, let's buy 100 Rand of this share. Just because I've heard it before. Yes, let's buy 100 Rand. Yes, let's go once off. Okay, um, confirm. It's a demo account. Do I really have to confirm? Oh, look. Broker commission, that's going to hurt me. Settlement and administration, eight cents. Investor protection, tax. Oh gosh, look at all these transaction costs. So that means that just to buy this, I'm losing 0.6%. That is actually quite high. That is, that's actually quite high for me making the decision myself. Um, but it is... It's the demo account. If it was real money, I would not be doing this. Remember, this is, a, this is an educational video. This is not financial advice. Don't do what I do on my YouTube channel. Don't, don't, just don't do what I do. Okay, wait, wait. Buy successful. Way we've bought into them. Um, we've got 117 shares at 100 Rand. Okay, great. Uh, congrats on your trade. Yo, let's, let's, let's go on Twitter. Let's be like, yeah, I just, I just bought something on Twitter. Yes. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at Twitter. I actually don't even know how Twitter works. But I am trying to learn because there's some good stuff that you can find on Twitter. Okay, so now we've lost a little bit of our money. Um, but we haven't lost, we've invested it. I also want to buy an exchange traded fund. ETFs are exchange traded funds. Um, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I want to, I want to see which ones can we get. Are there... ETF access. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's buy. I really wish they could remove that thing. Let's go Deutsche Bank. Let's go Deutsche Bank. That could give us access to some of the world indexes. So, whoops. I think this one is. Okay, I want to buy this one. Okay, oh, it's just telling me they normally have quite a few. So it's weird that they're only offering me. A few of these. Okay, so this is the world index. It tracks all the shares around the world. It's it's great to see. Let's see how how the world is doing. So let's go once off. 
this buy we're buying into the world okay now look how much cheaper that is that's only 39 cents what why did we, why was that other one so much more expensive total transaction costs okay let's go yeah because the last one was 64 cents and now it's 39 cents that's that's interesting okay let's go invest now bam we've got it okay let's tweet let's tweet it I think that's that's what investing is all about it's all about tweeting what you're doing but I don't know what happened to the Twitter thing um, did we buy it yes I think we did I think we did okay buy successful did we do we tweet yeah let's tweet it okay there we go um, let's invest I want to let's buy buy some futures feel free to to throw me some examples or some some of your own opinions in the comment section let me know what shares we're gonna buy and then I think what we're gonna do is I'll come to this website every now and then read your um, comments and whatever you say I'm gonna buy so if you're telling me to buy some really weird random share I am gonna go put a hundred rand on that weird random share let's see if as a YouTube channel we can build the ultimate portfolio um, remember we don't have any liabilities backing this so our investment objective is basically to just maximize maximize shares um, it's like a cute little lion guy there Barclays oh I like Brait let's, let's go throw let's go throw a hundred on Brait so Brait they are a private equity company that's listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange so it's a nice way to get access to private equity while through the public market I know it's a little bit of a contradiction and this website keeps freaking out okay Again, why is that 64 cents? Oh, you know what? It would actually be better if we just put all our money in the share that was, uh, let's, let's brag on, on Twitter. Um, <laughs> okay, I don't know why, why is this security transfer tax and administration? I think we're paying you an extra 25 cents for that, which we're not paying on the other one, which is interesting. Um, browse the market. Let's go, or let's, I want to see, there's a share that I actually do want to buy. There we go, sing yeah. Um, let's put 100 Rand behind them as well, as our once-off. I like this company. They're very much based on passive investing. Their whole idea is to cut down fees, and I really think they're doing an amazing thing in the investment market here in South Africa. So I'm going to back them. I'm going to back them, even though... Yeah, it would be cheaper if I actually bought their investment thing because I think I only have, there's a 0.4% in fees. As you can see, I'm very sensitive to fees and that sh you should do that as well. If you, if you, um, yeah, if you're an investor and you're a serious investor, you have to be super sensitive to fees. And I can just see, the problem with doing these little cute platforms is that you are going to be hit with fees. Yeah. Easy credit, how do I earn credit? I don't know. We don't wait. And there's so many terms and conditions. Wow. Um, okay, guys, like I said, give me give me stuff in the comment section for me to, to buy stuff. Um, tax free saving account? No. Or can we can we put like No, let's not let's not get into that now. Let's not get into that. Vouchers. Why would I Voucher redeeming and sending not allowed on demo money. Um, okay, let's go back to the exchange traded funds. So we've got we've got a little bit in the world and prop tracks, the ten largest property stocks on which we think make for a better quality universe. Um, yeah, oh, let's let's maybe get get an ETF on property. Okay, and let's put another 100 in that. Okay, so we're going to put 100. This is going to be our, what does it say up to? Like, is it limiting the amount that we're allowed to invest in? Okay, so we've got we've got another ETF. I do enjoy my ETFs. And, yeah, look, look how much lower the transaction costs are with the ETFs. I think we should actually just go ETFs purely on that fact. We're getting diversification and we're paying a lower fee. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Okay. But let's, how do I look at my portfolio? Let's go overview. Um, 
Okay, we haven't, nothing's moved because we've just bought everything. Our holdings, oh, check. So we've, we've basically lost two rand. Two rand just vanished uh, thanks to fees. And when we come to sell them, we're also going to be losing. Okay, so this is what we've got. We've got, these are our three speculative shares. We've gone for Capital Appreciation Limited. I know they are investing in three fintech companies around credit card payments. So we're going super risky there. Break, they own, I think, Virgin Active and a few other like well-known, like, but private equity, they do private equity deals. Sinjia, like I said, this is our industry, actuaries. Um, we should actually yeah, probably go double down on them a little bit more. And where are my ETFs? Where are my ETFs? Don't they show me my ETFs in my portfolio? Value view. Maybe pending instructions? Nope. Ooh, this website. Jumping a bit. Um, okay, now let's go back. Um, where are my ETFs? Where are my two ETFs? Oh, oh, I think we have to go here. They don't show to you all in one. Okay, and what we've got, we've invested in the world and we've invested in some property. So those are going to be the first five things that we've done. Um, gosh, is it already losing? Are we already, are we already losing? Um, or is that purchase value, current value? Oh, I think they're taking in the transaction costs. But why is that transaction cost 73 cents and they want 16 cents? Why is that? That's actually going to irritate me now. Why? 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 They should be able to like click on it. Be like, um, no, I don't want to buy more if it's just company summary. Oh, can you click company summary? Oh, and then you can look at whatever that stuff is. Um, okay, no, I think I think we've done well. We've invested 500 Rand. And like I said, this is going to be the game. Everyone tells me something to buy and I'll put 100 Rand in. We've got enough to almost buy everything on the stock market and we can see who, which user has has made the best, the best call. Um, also, I'm going to put a link below so you can actually do this yourself. So I'll give you the link. And if you come in as my referral, I think I get I get an extra 50 for my little demo account to play with. So I'll give you that. And yeah, let me know uh, what I should buy. And I'll make another video like this showing our, our profit. Because we're going to make lots of money. We're going to make lots and lots of fictitious demo money. Uh, but as always, be very careful whenever you're doing anything online with real money. Because um, yeah, I think that just kind of goes without saying. But yeah, let me end off the video. Thanks guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Hopefully that amount goes up because what we've just done is we've lost like yeah, 4 rand and 30 cents just by trading. So we've already started at a deficit, but let's see if that can push up. Why? Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Why does that? Oh no, sorry. That's available funds. I was like, oh my gosh, if we just like in the few seconds we've been talking, we've just dropped. But no, no. Um, I'll make another video sometime soon to update if that value has gone up. Thanks guys so much for watching and yeah, give me your recommendations in the comment section below. Cheers.